Blindness can happen to anyone at any age, and it's a growing public health issue. About one million people in the U.S. are considered blind. That number is expected to double by 2050. Despite laws like the Americans with Disabilities Act, which are meant to protect people, the blind often face major struggles. Reporter Kristen Crowley examines their fight for equity. Our eyes allow us to do so much in the world. But when you're blind, the opportunities can shrink drastically. When it comes down to it, is our country really blind friendly? No, we're not included inclusive of people who are blind. Access to everyday items is lacking for the blind. More than 90% of all published material from books to magazines can't be read by them. Leah Enright at the Kansas School for the Blind, the only school for the blind in her state, says many in the community are an afterthought. We have to fight to get an accessible pedestrian signal on, on the corner here at 11th and State right outside of our campus. Just outside of the school yep. for the blind, there was no blind accessible crossing. Yep, yep. The barriers don't stop there. Data show 8% of working age people with vision difficulty were unemployed, compared with 4% of the same aged people without vision loss. We don't have the opportunity sometimes to uh, show what we have. Is it hard for you to get a job because of that? Yes, real hard. <laughs> Ricky Castaneda, who started going blind at just eight years old, struggles to convince people otherwise. And you're capable of working. And always capable of working. I'm capable of doing most things. So how do you prove to people you're capable? You show them. The blind community will get the chance to do that on the world stage for the 2028 Paralympics, where they'll compete in a sport that may seem impossible to play without vision, blind soccer. It has a way to go before it's mainstream, but it is gaining momentum. I visited the first and only blind soccer pitch in the Midwest to show how this sport for the blind is so much more than just a game. Ready? The grass, the ball, the net. Nice. You probably guessed this is a soccer field and you would be half right. We are the only blind soccer pitch in the Midwest. For more than 100 years, the Kansas School for the Blind has found a way for its students to play sports. Wrestling, swimming, goalball, track and field. But blind sports coordinator Leah Enright says soccer is a first. Push it with those feet. Push, push, push. Good. To think about people who are blind playing that sport, it seems impossible. Sure. How does it work? Actually, in blind soccer, you don't want to kick the ball far away. You want to keep it close so you know where it is. A chicken's egg, and you don't want to smash it, do you? Beads inside the ball help players find it. Walls keep them from running outside the pitch. And communication 45, I'm center. I'm is key. When you're playing blind soccer, it's listening, not only for the ball, for your coaches too, and your teammates. Is it gaining in popularity? Oh, for sure. I feel like blind soccer is now, we're just at the beginning of stages of people understanding the game. And understanding that blind people can play it. People like Anna Evans. I used to be a player at my old school. And Nolan Shannon. I just want to be a soccer player. Anna and Nolan thought their soccer playing days were over when they started losing their vision as young kids. I looked up in the sky, I'm like, is the sky usually blue? Because I see yellow or red. Will there come a time where your vision is completely gone? Yes, actually. It can actually happen any day or any time. Nolan has night blindness. During the day, he can see, but the vision is blurry. And at night... I'm just 100% blind. And the, like, when I mean blinds, like walk into walls blinds. For both, playing sports has been a challenge. I tried baseball. It, it didn't work out, really. It just didn't work out. And was that because of your vision? Yeah. Their diagnosis meant losing so much more than their vision. You worried you might not be able to play soccer anymore? Yeah, until I heard of uh, blind soccer. Ready? 
The game is a little different. There are fewer players on the field, it's smaller, and there's no penalty kicks or throw-ins. Good job, Lily, keep coming. But it brings a sense of inclusion for blind players, a feeling they don't often get. All they see is the cane, right? Um, and all they see is the blindness. Ricky Castaneda, part of the men's national blind soccer team, will try out for the U.S.'s first Paralympics blind soccer team in 2028, a team that wasn't even a possibility a few years ago because access to blind soccer and most sports isn't easy. Around 75% of blind people or people with disabilities in general don't have the opportunity to play a sport. Drive, drive, drive. Bringing blind soccer to the world stage in 2028 could help change the perception that this disability doesn't mean inability. I know that I'm a, I'm a part of a big, big project of getting blind soccer in the United States, and it feels amazing. For the blind, living in a world not built for them, all they want is an even playing field. This one is a good start. You may have noticed the players wearing blindfolds. That's because there are varying degrees of blindness, so this keeps everything equal. Also, there's one player who must be able to see for safety reasons, and that is the goalie. Maryland and Virginia also have blind soccer fields, but advocates say they'd like to see at least one in every state. Today, it's estimated there are fewer than 10 blind soccer programs in the U.S.